Overall, homelessness increased by 3% from last year. The good news, though, since 2010, overall homelessness in the area is down about 22%. That's according to the latest numbers from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. For those who are homeless this coming holiday season, 7 Eyewitness News reporter Christy Maria tonight shows us a new place they can turn for help now. He is in South Buffalo. The trees in Casanova Park have lost their leaves for the winter, but the branches on three of these trees hold something special. This tree was loaded as much as we could. We had stuff hanging here. We had stuff hanging here. We had stuff all over the place. Nancy Cater calls them the giving trees. On Monday, she and a friend went shopping, picking up clothing like warm socks and scarves, then pinned them up for anyone who might need them. They pinned up about 25 bags, Two days later, only half are left. I'm happy. I'm very happy that it's working. Because like I said, we go home, we go home in our beds, we go home in our nice warm clothes, and there's people that don't. They don't have any of this. Including one very special item. There was um, a pink hat and gloves set around here for a little child, because there's children that need help too. Cater got the idea after seeing a homeless man walking around South Buffalo. He wouldn't ask for anything, but Cater says she helped when she could. Then this winter, she had a thought. There's other people out there that we just don't see. And for all of them, the giving season is coming a little early this year. Even if they don't have a warm room, at least they'll have some warm items to keep them warm. You know, warm clothing, scarf gloves. Cater hopes to send a message. I hope it makes them feel that there are people out there that care about them. And rally her neighbors to fill the trees at Casanova Park this holiday season. I would like to see more items on the tree for more to take or less items on the tree because then I know it's working. So both go hand in hand. In South Buffalo, Christy Maria, 7 Eyewitness News.